<laughs> Seth, Seth Rollins broke the internet. <laughs> I want. <laughs> Seth, Seth Rollins is a manslayer. Oh, wait. Is this on? Hello again and welcome to another Monday Night Raw review. I am Hobo Tom. And I'm going to be looking a little confused a little bit because I am both working, getting paid for it, pile of money, as well as doing one of my hobbies, which which I hope to get paid for one day. And I have to see if something's going to work. Because um, I'm here to talk about Monday Night Raw. And the first thing I would like to say... Unfortunately, whenever I kind of start off like this, you know it's kind of nothing good. Um, even though with all the levity and chuckles that pro wrestling does give us, unfortunately, I think it was Sunday, um, the ranks of pro wrestling lost another. Mass luchador, and the fact that Silver King passed away. And I actually remember Silver King a little bit from his WCW days. He used to wear a mask. He teamed up with Tejano, El Tejano, and like they were like Los Cowboys or something for a while, and then he didn't wear a mask. Then he went back to the mask. And I just learned, doing just a little minutia of research, that he's actually the brother of Dr. Wagner Jr. And this time, because I am my amazing pro wrestling application that I acquired somehow, I'm actually going to watch Triple Mania, and that should be really interesting. Probably should have a pretty good tribute towards him, I guess, for Triple Mania, more so than the WWE, because they just didn't do anything. But they can't cover every wrestler that kind of passes away because that would be like third of their show, which they could probably get rid of anyway. So here's my tribute to the Silver King. I know it's not much, but I am working with what I have. I know there's a lot to cover in today's Raw, so this is probably going to be a long video. I actually can see what I'm supposed to be doing up on the screen, so I'm going to be changing body positions every so often. Again, making money is important, because this way I can afford my fishing habit. And um, I think just one news item... For me, least, I probably will not be getting to Stanford show, although I am going to next week, the Daytona Beach, though. So again, I do wait for that because I think I'm going fishing, offshore fishing, on Saturday. Time for me to get some food, enjoy, enjoy my time on the water because I haven't been there in a long time. Your internet's getting slow. Um, I just don't feel like making a drive out to Sanford. It's fun to do every so often. It's only a half hour drive, which isn't bad. The fact the seating's not the best, the acoustics aren't the best, and just a whole bunch of little things that add up, and it's like. You want to? Do you want to work? Do you want to spend ten bucks? Do you want to earn earn forty nine? So we'll see. Man, that's very fluent. They could they could cancel me for work. I'd be like, I don't know what I'm doing. All of a sudden, this massive storm. I actually have to text text them tomorrow. I will check. But let's get to some Monday Night Raw again. Every so um eventually, I think in July, going to see. Southern Pro Lucha Libre. Again, I'm very proudly wearing 
my Southern Pro Lucha Libre shirt, mainly because it's a luchador. Right there on the shirt, you can see. And again, it's on our Silver King. He was a luchador. And there's no way I'm letting that disgusting, slimy, trash bag wearing El Vagabundo Dos Sobo do this. Not even for Silver King. But, so again, I have my little tribute to Silver King. Again, all my prizes and bonuses go out to you. Let me get some work done. Ooh. Let's see here. That's not actually bad. I've seen so much garbage. And in fact, you're probably going to see me doing this because Sunday, more than likely, I am going to be streaming live Money in the Bank. Or, well, I'll be doing my R&R &R show. I cannot see stream. But you'll be able to hear. I'll probably set the volume up like I did last time. Maybe a little bit less. Maybe talk more. And you'll actually get to see what I do for a living. Or partially what I do for a living. In five minutes. Five minutes too long. I'll say about Monday Night Raw. Um, it was a, it was an okay show. <sighs> really promo heavy though. I mean, there were like huge chunks of time where I don't think they did anything but talk. Wow, that's right. And there's some funny audio. Hopefully you'll get to hear it. So I'll figure out a way to fix that. Um... It just sounded terrible on a blank screen. Glad no one except for my cat lives with me. Well, for now, but we'll see. And Alexa Bliss. That's a whole other. Oh, that's that's the other news newsworthy note. I guess Alexa bit Alexa Alexa Bliss. And you can look up her kayfabe name. That you know, I might as well. Alexis Kaufman. It's now single. She broke off her engagement to Buddy Murphy. So Alexa Bliss, this guy's available too. I'll tell you what, I'd even take you shopping in England to, to get you wrestling gear. Treat you like a proper lady. And I guess the other big newsworthy note, as you heard, um, Seth Rollins broke the internet. Because now he's the manslayer. Because, oh, well, he and Becky Lynch are slaying stuff. Oh, I just didn't say that, did I? I think I did. So he and Becky Lynch are confirmed a couple. Hey, as long as they're happy, Alexa Bliss, you could be like, with a couple too, or at least me. And Dana Brooke... Oh, boat, Tom. But enough about that. Let's talk about some real wrestling. <laughs> enough self-promotion. <laughs> One day some woman is going to see this and say, what the heck? Maybe she might say, wow, he really is desperate. <laughs> I'll date him. <laughs> oh, um, let's talk about some pro wrestling. So it starts off with Miz TV. This is a go-home show to Money in the Bank. Um, Miz was there. And there was, they had some weird setup issues because there were just guys in the spotlight. Um, I think I, I, I wonder if um, the crew from WCPW and or Colta Hulk was there. Yes, they, are, they were live, or at least tape delayed, in England at the O2 Center. And learn about the O2 Center. So, Slicks, um, eventually I have a whole bunch of questions because they said it was right next to a mall, I guess. I don't think there's any arenas connected to a mall here in here here in the states at least. Cause I know in Indianapolis they're all interconnected. Here at the Amway Center, it's a parking garage are interconnected. The Mall of America I don't think it has an arena built into it. So I don't know. And I'm not talking about little rinky-dink casino arenas. I'm talking about, like, full-scale. And, and what games do they have there that are inside? Again, Slicks, you can always feel free to comment. Um, he's one of a normal batch of people that like to every so often pop up on my show. And, the, again, if you pop up on my show, either via comment, email, 
or a subscription, you get a little special video video dedication just or video show just for you. And it's not going to mean me doing work will be something more wrestling related. So again, uh, Miz comes out. Um, he intro he cuts a promo for Ro Roman Reigns. Um, and then the, it was a really mixed response for Roman Reigns. Um, they started to cheer first. Back up a little bit more. Getting reverb. Um, they first cheered, and then they're like, oh, wait, this is Roman Reigns. Ooh. The English crowd is it's a weird crowd. And the crowd really tries to take over the show because when Roman Reigns was there, they were going to say, oh, walk with a Elias. Oh, walk with a Elias. And they just want to take over. Hey, and then we have um, the old uh, Roman Reigns does bring up the old Miz versus the new Miz. People like the new Miz. I've always liked them. Pretty good. Um, Shane comes out to booze. He just he just wanted a boo, I guess. Um, the Brits do like their chance. I give them that much. And that sets up the first match of the night. It was uh, Roman Reigns and the Miz versus Bobby Lashley and Elias. Uh, it was kind of a, it, was, it was an okay match. Um, I'll I'll get into that again. Very classic wrestling moves by the Miz. He does that, that two X neck breaker thing he does. Oh, this is just a heel. He knows how to heal things up. I think there was a promo at a live show in Liverpool, and he wore Manchester City shirt, or was it the other way around, or was it some other thing? I don't follow English soccer. Unless something like major happens. I know Liverpool was in it. And I honestly forget who they were facing. Whoever their opponent was wears like a, a powder blue shirt. Again, Slick, so you can always feel free to comment and educate me more about football. Oh, you call that football over there. Here we call it soccer. I think the Brazilians call it soccer too. Or is it football? But that's a whole other issue. I do like soccer. Soccer four times a year is pretty good. Again, I get excited over the, the men's World Cup. I think I saw the women's World Cup once. I think I took a nap. But again, that's a whole other issue. Again, watch me go back and forth and score. Like pile. I actually do with my doctor. One day you will see the Hobo Studio. Maybe next year for my year in review tribute. Um, again, classic Roman. Again, he, he does. Ooh, and then of course, Miss had the, the yes kicks on both Bobby Lashley and Elias. And Elias is a poo dude. He's awesome. Um, and this match, Elias did pull off a new move. I mean, he was walking the ropes. Pretty good and hit the meteor. That was awesome, though. Um, Bobby Lashley tagged himself in, got tagged in. He did the standing vertical suplex by Lashley. I don't even care if, it, if the Miz is smaller than Lashley. That's still amazing. Getting that huge feat of strength. Um, and the ring looked different, too. They didn't have the LED ring post covers. And just made it seem, it made the ring seem bigger and the post seem smaller. It looked like something out of the Daytona Beach Bum Fight League, to be honest. Uh, and it was a, kind of a weird crowd. They just like to chant a lot, and I don't think anyone understands what their chants mean unless it's something really obvious, like, oh, walk with a lie. Yes. And that's Seven Nation Army theme. That, that's taken over everything. Oh, ho, bo, tom. Ooh, that sounds good. Oh, ho, bo, Tom. Um, it was a DQ finish. Shane eventually does interfere. And for a while, the heel stand tall, but then the Miz and Roman come back. 
So I don't know what's going to happen when I make my predictions because I know there's going to be a, a prediction videos on Thursday. So I'll get that up too. But for the most part, it was a death of finish, baby. But this is a winner because Roman and the Mia win. But still, it was a sandwich. And then there was an AJ and Seth promo. Sami Zayn promo. They got really promo heavy. I know the first opening moment, I want to say it took about a good 20 minutes. This was the, I'll admit it, this is the first time I've seen um, Raw on TV uninterrupted with, car with commercials in a while. I didn't realize there were so many commercials. They're so long. Um, who else? Again, the crowd for the first part of the show was just non. They, again, they don't chant for anything though. Then it was Mojo Rally versus Apollo Cruz, and really, what was a s squash match with Crazy Mojo? And he has that weird singlet with like the chest protector thing. It, he won with an Alabama slam, which which I'm kind of okay with, I guess. But against Apollo Cruz. Couldn't they have picked someone from the the local enhancement talent from the islands? Ooh, I have text message. Yes, yes, yes to what? Okay. Okay. We'll bring. We'll bring cutters. Too. Oh yeah, you got your beep got on YouTube. Here we go. Full disclosure, folks. I do so much when I can. And what's this chat say? Thank you so much for your work. Thank you for not kicking me off. Heaven knows I should. Hey, Cheese, but do you want to make an appearance? Where are you? Oh, fuzzy. Oh, shoot. Oh, there she goes. She just wants to snuff around stuff. She wants to know what I'm doing. But let's see here. Okay, so there's a Mojo Rally. It was a, it was a squash match. Any squash? Only because I we haven't seen we haven't seen Mojo Rally in a while. I'll give it a can of soup. I'll tell you what, this is going to get old really quick. And someone in the crowd actually did have a Seth Manslayer sign because he's been the King Slayer. He's the Beast Slayer. Now he's the Manslayer. Um, then Alexa Bliss, is, uh, she's all upset because I guess she lost her luggage. She runs down to the British crowd, uh, missing luggage. Even though she's in a mall, she could probably just get something. And then Nikki Cross shows up, but it's not. It's like uncuckooed Nikki Cross. I want crazy Nikki back. I want to see depressed Nikki and then crazy Nikki. I just want crazy Nikki Cross. That's the best Nikki Cross. It's crazy Nikki. Oh, and by the way, Alexa Bliss, if I was your boyfriend, I would definitely make sure you would have your ring gear with you. And worst comes to worst, I would take you shopping for your ring gear. Because I'm the one and only. Oh, wait. How, there we go. Hobo Tom. And I'm single too. What? Yep. Your, your beep. Your beep. Notification. Got picked up by my mic. Beep, beep. 
think it did. I don't know. But, so let's see here. So, again, that was that, which was kind of fun. Again, the whole Nikki Cross thing. That's going to move us along. Um, then you have, again, yeah, it's, it's just a lot of nonsense stuff. Uh, let's see, in this case. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, they had the Becky Lynch, Lacey Evans, and, and Charlotte Flair contract signing. Becky Lynch, uh, my only thing, Becky Lynch is no no longer available to fawn over. Darn. Uh, she just needs to wear both belts. I think that would look pretty cool. Becky champ champ. Two belt Becky. The crowd, for some reason, really didn't care much. They just wanted to go Becky champ champ or Becky two belts and champ champ. And then some woman in the audience was wearing a big Cass merch shirt. Again, slicks. Is the people in the British Isles, like, forgetful, I guess? Although, I, I, I shouldn't say that. I still have an old school Macho Man shirt and, and a DIY shirt. So I guess if you like big Cass, power to you. Um, what else? Lacey Evans is confused by the crowd. I don't know what the crowd was chanting, but she was confused. And I think they signed the wrong contracts. Like Lacey Evans, like reached. I think Charlotte, like reached across this way for the uh, Raw title, and then Lacey Evans just followed Charlotte's lead and reached across for the SmackDown title. I mean. Becky very clearly put one belt on one side, one belt on the other. Oh, and she had the... There were some good lines, though. That made me go, whoa! Um, and then there was Charlotte, no belt. But, um... Lacey Evans told Becky Lynch... I'll swing around, and I quote, I can quote this now, I wrote this down, quote, I'll swing around what you don't have. Oh! Of course, to that, Becky says, I'll slap the blonde off of both of you. Oh! And then Becky should win everything. So we'll see what happens. Then the next match, you have Baron Corbin versus, I'll call him King Ricochet because he's back in the aisles. Because I know he wrestled for WCPW for at least one match. Um, he has a plain promo. He needs, it's not necessarily bad. It needs some umph, I guess. Very minor critique of King Ricochet, though. He'll always be King Ricochet to me. Um, Ricochet, I mean, he's so fast. He can do flippy stuff. It's just so hard to time speed. I mean, you can go fast in the ring, go fast off the ropes, go fast jumping. You can do flippy moonsaults jumping while running. Um, Baron Corbin in this match was kind of more of the brawler. Again, he had... Uh, he, uh, Baron Corbin had that new move. I do like that. That spinning... Back... Spinning reverse back body drop where he kind of spins him and falls on his head. I mean, he can even flip over anything. I mean, at least King Richard can flip over anything. And his flying stuff is so good. Um, I think the thing is... Oh, you <laughs> Baron, Baron Corbin just... They have that live mic there and he just yells, You're crap. Wow. I mean, he, I mean honestly, Rick Chase is so amazing. He even managed to roll through land on his feet for a 6.30. Hit the Frankenstein, which is awesome. Uh, Corbin does hit the end of, yeah, the end of days after King Ricochet reverse at once. And it was really fun. I think this is showing that uh, Ricochet is a smaller wrestler, really highlighting the bigger guys. But again, in a way that's realistic, though, which is always good. So with that being said, I mean, King Ricochet did lose. But it was a fun match. I mean, really nothing for me to complain about. Overall, it was a good cheeseburger match. I 
then there was the, the recap of the Samoa Joe promo. This is, and then there was Cesaro and Rey Mysterio. Cesaro was huge compared to Rey Mysterio. Um, another Reigns promo. Talk about how you beat be cancer. Always good to hear. A little AJ Styles promo. And then the next match. <laughs> I wish I could loop this sound for everything. So let's, let's see here. I'm going to try and do that because this made me... Whoa! Sounded like something else was on my computer. Something that should not be on my computer. Right for throwing my last paper of the night. This is awesome. And if you guys tune in Sunday, you'll probably see me doing some of these too because I'm work working until 9.30 there. That's good. It's 11.29. I'm done at 11.30. Get paid for that last minute at least. But it was um, the, a woman's four-way, Naomi versus Dana Brooke versus Natalia. And a newly inserted Nikki Cross, uh, again, because Alexa cannot find her ring gear. And Alexa, you need a man to buy you some more ring, ring gear. Like this man right here, this man named Hobo Tom. So I'm going to get muted one day. Again, until there's someone in the seat next to me or over there on the couch. We'll see, though. There we go. Your shift has ended. Yes. Always let it go. Close that and focus. Focus on what I should be doing. Well, actually, I should be focusing on that, not this. Your shift has ended. Thank you. I like that. There we go. This was actually a really fun showcase. Mainly, it really showcased Naomi a lot. Um, Nikki Cross, you had her apron spot again. The thing I didn't like about this, and it had nothing to do with the match, which is why I really didn't include it into my critique of the match, is that in the backstage with Alexa Bliss, it was sorry, pathetic, depressed, sappy Nikki Cross. And after you see that, she comes back, and then all of a sudden she's, she's back to crazy Nikki Cross. Uh, they do need some continuity, and maybe I should put my resume into WWE to work on their continuity issues. Although, Nikki Cross did have a promo about how she lost on main event, and if things are changing for her. I mean, I know she is married to Killian Dane. I think he's back in England. So she was to be part of the UK women's uh, NXT UK over in England. I can't really complain. But still, I like crazy Nikki Cross. Darn shit is short, though. So is Rey Mysterio. Whole other issue. I'll get into that later. Um, I want to know. How Dana Brooks sounds in the bedroom, folks. Because let's see, just listen to this. I hope this works. See here. Can you hear me? I just want to play the audio. Play. Let me try this one more time, folks. Terrible. I can't find the whole thing. Mike and 
There we go. So that sounds a little bit better now. And close you because it's just the audio. I have no idea if you guys heard that or not, but um, the the long, the short long version of it is that I want to stop here because I think it. Okay, so the short long version. My camera doesn't like really fast stuff. And it'll, we'll, we'll freeze up. Um, the short, long version of it is that Natalia had Dana Brooke in a Mexican surfboard. And I think I was doing I was doing some of my work at the time. And all I heard was, Ah! 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 Oh! Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! 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 Oh my. Whoa! I want to see what's going on here. Again, it was Natalia with Dana Brooke in the Mexican board. There we go. Lower that some more. But on uh, Natalia, again, just to hear the oh, 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 oh. I want to hear Dana Brooke in the bedroom. I think I wrote something down like that. Oh, did I? I want Dana Brooke to slap the hobo out of me. <laughs> yeah. Again, just play that sound without the picture. And if anyone else is in that house or room, they will just their eyes like this towards you. Indeed. But overall, it was a fun match. I mean, um, the, there was one spot. Dana Brooke looked right at Naomi. When Naomi was going to do the starship pain, the split leg and moon soul. Uh, I guess it was just a sp plain split leg moon soul. It wasn't the twisty one. It wasn't starship pain. Dana found a ladder. Dana can fly. I'll, I'll give her that. I'll give her credit. Listen, I'll give wrestlers credit when credit's due. She can fly off that ladder. Um, Natty's, N Natty did the job to Nikki Cross. Um, but Alexa got to climb up. So is Nikki. Going to be Alexa Bliss's lackey until Nikki really goes full cuckoo again? I have no idea. Get out of the way. Yeah, I, I forget why I put that there. But again, for the most part, again, this was a really good surf and turf match, though. I mean, hard to complain about anything that happened. It was fun. Dana Brooke was flying. Dana Brooke was moaning. Nikki Nikki Cross was 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 crazy. Nikki Cross. Naomi is amazingly athletic. That cameraman is a little dirty. He, he has to be careful with uh, Jimmy Uso around. You know what shots I mean, you pervy cameraman. I saw it. Well, I didn't see much, but. I saw enough. And then it was Sami Zayn promo, another Samoa Joe promo. Then we had Rey Mysterio versus Cesaro. I'll tell you what, Rey Mysterio, he is the balance of a cat. But darn is Rey Mysterio freaking short. There was one part uh, when he was running the ropes, he didn't even hit the top rope. I mean, he was bouncing off the middle and bottom rope, and you're like, oh, wait a second. He didn't even touch the top rope. Cesaro had to be a, at least a head taller than a, even the announced woman, um, not Charlie Caruso, but the other one. I mean, she looked taller than Ray. It's weird. And I, oh, that's why there's so much couch showing. I was trying to center my just fiddling with it. I want to set it up a certain way, but we'll see. Um, Cesaro, he, he picked up Ray like a freaking toy. Uh, again, the swing is the barricade. That was awesome. Uh, he literally like jumped off the ring apron onto the ground with on his shoulders. That standing vertical delayed superplex, one armed, amazing. Um, Ray did hit the Lucha Destroyer. Um, again, Ray can still do everything though. Oh, the other thing I... Oh, I know what I wanted to say. 
Naomi's outfit was not color safe. Because it was a bright lemon yellow neon lime green. It really it would have burned out the old vacuum tubes. Oh, yeah, I did mention that the um, ring post didn't have the LED lights. It didn't look like something from the Daytona Beach. Um, if you don't know what the DBB L is, you can go to some previous videos of mine and check out it. And ch check it out. I do it mainly for special events. I think Memorial Day, I'm going to have another one. I'll post it up. I have to figure out what I'm doing. But I mean, this Ray versus Ray Mysterio Jr. versus Cesaro. This was a fun surf and turf match. And it was a Firefly Funhouse. I do like seeing that old-fashioned TV. I think I just I think my parents had one like that. Um, I like the sound effects. And. I mean, when he went back to see it, what he really was, it's like a Morta Joe mask from a, a Morta Joe Bray. Again, if you've watched uh, Mad Max Fury Road, you know what a Morta Joe looks like. He has that mask. Like, that's creepy. That was pretty cool. Again, that's my title. I want Dana Brooke to slap the hobo out of me. So that was still, oh, oh. Whoa, the heck's going on there? And then you have a, a Seth Seth promo versus AJ. And uh, Seth and AJ did wrestle, I think, in Chikara once. That's pretty cool. Um, then it was Braun, Braun Strowman versus Sami Zayn for match of the night. Um, if Sami Zayn won, he would get Braun Strowman's spot in the ladder match. Something with stakes. Um, Sami comes out. Oh! Let's go. I mean, they just like they just love to chant. Um, then of course, Sami Zayn still has to push on. Ole, 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 ole. Um, let's see. Here. I mean, it took him a while to get that sweatshirt off the hoodie off. <laughs> Sammy's so good. He has the most perfect back bump ever. <laughs> he gives Paul Strowman, I guess, a pint in the eyes. Because he like threw a beer at him, and I know there's like a pint. I don't know. Again, someone from, from Bonnie Old England, like, do they have like plastic cups too? Well, I guess they have to. I guess that's like a standard. But is a plastic cup a pint? That's the important question. I forget how many ounces are in a pint now. Um, oh, the dustman came out. Do you remember? Uh, Sammy Zane, <laughs> the way he was getting his head banged against the concrete post should be dead. Uh, eventually, Corbin breaks. Corbin um, starts beating up Braun with, with uh, again, a dustman. The merch table gets destroyed. Every merch table gets destroyed. Um, they eventually go back to the ring. Then they go to the locker room area. It looks like a backstreet brawl. He <laughs> just hears Sammy Zayn yelling, "Help! Help me!" Uh, Drew McIntyre does come in to help him. Again, the referee is wearing that mic. I can hear what the referee is saying, and I, I swear I heard it's like six minutes. Um, eventually they, they go into the gorilla position, and Braun just starts sparing poor Sammy Zayn with ladders. Corbin and Drew team up on Braun. Sammy gets a pin, but unfortunately, Sammy goes through the table for his issues. So that was Raw, and minus the boring, and oh, that was so special. I enjoyed it. It was a surf and surf match. But for the most part, I don't know. The matches were good. Don't get me wrong with that. The matches were good. Oh, come over here, you coward. Go sulking. The matches were good. It was just a lot of filler. So I'll see what it's like to watch down again. Again, um, so my schedule, uh, Tuesday. This will go probably tonight. I'm gonna start the editing process. Then I feel hobo. So by the time I'm, I get to bed, this should just be about ready to post. 
Tuesday's going to be SmackDown. Yeah, let's go to the gym late. So I have to go to the bank for dinner money. Thursday's going to be my prediction videos because by then they should have figured all the money in the bank nonsense. I don't think I'm going to be doing anything this Saturday. I'm either going fishing or working. Sunday's money in the bank. Well, Sunday might be two things. I don't know. I have to figure out what I want to do now that I have that app. I know to find it comes on at 3 in the afternoon here. Might do a Defy show and then money in the bank. I think the is just like two hours, I think. Money in the bank. I don't think it starts till six. Well, we'll see. That's a lot of wrestling. Depends how much I drink Saturday night, too. And and if I'm even working. I've worked on a Sunday in a while. It's bound to catch up to me sometime. Monday Night Raw, Tuesday SmackDown, and then the 25th is going to be a live show, or parts of a live show from Daytona Beach, and then probably Sunday up for Memorial Day, they're going to have the Daytona Beach Bomb Fight League. So still a whole bunch of wrestling. And then June 9th is Dominion. The 29th is going to be AEW. I'm still going to see if I can get tickets to go to AEW for their show in Jacksonville. And then sometime in between then, it'll be Southern Pro Lucha Libre. Oh, wait. I can just pop this shirt now. Pop. And I'm going to watch Triple Mania this time. So, everyone have a good